Hi, so here's a, uh, a quick review of um, my Mont Blanc um, 149 um, fountain pen. Um, this is one of the first um, products I reviewed when I started on YouTube um, and it received a massive amount of hits but at that point I was really just doing unboxing so I thought I'd go back and at least give a bit of narrative with this. So let's open the box and see what we get in here. So basically you've got a, uh, a booklet. Now I've tucked the receipt. I'll take the receipt out there. But you've got the warranty information and a little bit of background in various languages about the pen. Try and get rid of some of the reflections, some nice pictures, and information about maintenance and warranty. Then we've got the main feature. So in here, you've obviously got your massive fountain pen. You've got a little bottle of Mont Blanc ink, in this case black. I'm not quite sure if you get options. A little bit of packing foam at the back, just to hold everything in place. And then, of course, the pen itself. So this is a, uh, as I say, a, a Mont Blanc um, 149 fountain pen. It's got a fine nib on this one. See, nice bit of engraving and gold plate up here, which you won't be able to pick up with the camera is a very very tiny serial number you got the snow peak top on there and it effortlessly undoes there so you've got a very nice gold tip with white gold inlay as you can see it is fine you've got the The view into the, the barrel there, so you can see how much ink you've got. You've got the end cap, again another gold plated band there, and this unscrews. In a minute you'll see the plunger coming down there, so as you undo it, again it's turning on brass threads, so lots and lots of life. And there you see the plunger just passing the window. Of course, at that point, dip it in your ink, pull it back, and it fills with ink. Um, another interesting thing, obviously you've got the nice clear windows. This is uh, a very expensive plastic, effectively. I think they call it precious resin. But one of the nice things is that not only can you see through these windows, but the rest of the pen, in the right lighting, also sort of is transparent. And gives a nice sort of purpley glow. Let's see if I can get it to shine through on camera. There you see. You can see the, the barrel and the plunger. So it's a sort of a translucent plastic if you will. Um, just I'll do a couple of size size comparisons with other pens that I, I use. Interestingly, whilst this is an absolutely fantastic pen, um, I very, very rarely use it. It writes wonderfully, but it is just too dressy, if you will, for the office. This is the pen that I use day to day. So this is a Lamy 2000, completely different price range, and probably about a quarter of the price, if, if not less. A lot smaller, slenderer. Let's see if we can get that comparison there. It's hard to show but it is a much smaller pen. Just do a, uh, a cap off comparison. You can see this one filled with ink, half filled with ink, stained, used every day. Both benefiting from a, uh, a gold tip but you can see quite a different story. You imagine the sort of hand position on that. My hand's there. On this one, 
it's uh, a completely different position so an army 2000 lovely lovely pen different class but that's my daily user let's just pop the cap back on this one and just as a matter of interest there's your Mont Blanc there's your Nami 2000, my daily user another pen you might recognise is the Faber Castell Emotion and again still a smaller pen in this case it does have a, a more traditional nib but it will be dwarfed by the Mont Blanc. It is just a mighty, mighty pen, um, and I love it for that. But in some ways, it's just too much for the office. And then finally, just to complete the lineup, a Lamy Safari, which you know, if you're starting out in fountain pens, might be the pen that you have. It's a good pen. So that, that, that's it, really. Um, you know, I, I really love owning this. I couldn't have lived without not owning it. Um, I would recommend you indulge if you like fountain pens. But it is a big, big pen. And you need to be, uh, if you're going to take it into the office, that might be a consideration. Some people might not notice, I'm sure. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.